seems I'm still patched into Drake's comm system. I've intercepted enough radio chatter to learn that Drake's combat troops have overtaken the defense platform. Some of the original crew might still be alive, but I can't confirm that. I can tell you that Drake's deployed a laser defense net, which draws power from the platform's core. Rather enjoyed your company, James. Do be careful. Call out. You're on a fool's errand, Mr. Bond. I've just locked the launch sequence. Nothing can stop Operation Nightfire. Not even my own death. That's a theory I mean to test. <laughs> You've already failed miserably. But tinker with my missiles if you must. It'll make a splendid target for my laser cannons. James, the missiles! You won't be able to disarm the warheads in time. Your only hope is to sabotage the launch system in some way. You'll have to disable them manually. Each launch gantry has a weak coupling that you can melt with your laser. credit you with persistence, Mr. Bond. Persistence and failure. There are NATO launch sites on Earth which could challenge the arsenal on my island. Those bases will be incinerated by turning these defensive missiles into massively offensive ones. I've kept my most hardened combat veterans on reserve, Bond. I'll let them finish you off. That view, Mr. Bond, it's the last you'll ever see of Earth. James, the missile launch company to respond. If you lay to think you should be able to cripple the missiles.
shaken, not stirred. Or is it stirred, not shaken? Hmm. Definitely stirred. Astronomers from around the globe are reporting unexpected meteor showers. Well done, 007. Then I'm sure the world won't mind my taking a few days off. We'll let the autopilot be our designated driver. Oh, James. Working for over 20 months, the team at EA Games developed James Bond 007 Nightfire. Three core international teams in the United States, England and Canada, programmers, writers, artists, designers and animators, collaborated to create an unparalleled James Bond experience. Adding to the fantasy, Agent 007 looks and feels just like the film star himself, Pierce Brosnan. Thanks in part to a laser scanning process that captured the features of his face, using over a quarter of a million data points, Brosnan's persona as 007 brings the Bond film star into the hands of game players. When you see Pierce Brosnan in the game, you see Pierce Brosnan. He's the epitome of James Bond, debonair, suave, charismatic, uh, came out great. And I think he brings a certain authenticity and, and personality to the character just like he does in the film. So when you see him wink or raise his eyebrow, um, you've definitely seen the real McCoy. Fast cars are another part of the James Bond equation. The Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. The Vanquish, also featured in this year's Bond film, Die Another Day, sports a six-liter V12 engine with a Formula One-style transmission. It can go from zero to 60 in under five seconds and reach speeds in excess of 190 miles per hour. To bring this amazing vehicle into the game, the design team at EA worked with Aston Martin to capture all of the exact specs and performance attributes of the car then created a 3D mesh in the digital realm. From fast cars to beautiful women and exotic locations, James Bond 007 Nightfire is packed with all the elements that make it classic James Bond, allowing the player to live out the fantasy of the world's best secret agent. Thank mm -hmm. you.